next car for qualifying session here at the 2021 Bomber Enduro is the IMCA Stock Car 41 of George Bronsman. George Bronsman a few years ago had some great battles with Cody Center out here at Arizona Speedway. Some of those two have just exchanged wins. And we do not have a working transponder on the 41, so no lap time for George Bronsman. Go figure. <laughs> so we'll see how we want to score that one, but no transponder on the 41 of George Bronsman. That's going to mean grab the second car. He's going to run it. Yeah, we're both. Because I thought if we had... As Aaron Spangler brings this car on the racetrack, Aaron Spangler. Out of Dove Creek, Colorado, that number 16. He's got one lap to go. Well, and that thing eat off a of turn and over four. First lap for Aaron Spangler. Going to be 21.698. 21.698 for the 16 of Aaron Spangler. So again, 20 IMCA stock cars with us here this afternoon for the 2021 Bomber Enduro. A little bit of a hangover cure for all you race fans out there. We did two to work last night. Second lap for Spangler, 21.584. Coming from to the top of the charts. And Steve Sabowski who was in the hunt last year for the track title. That number 82 takes to the racetrack, third qualifier this afternoon. He's in the hunt for the track championship, came down to three cars over that final race weekend. Steve just didn't have enough for at the end. Transponder on that car of Steve Sabowski. Yeah. And Zach Madrid comes to the racetrack the 7M. Whose car is that? Whose car is that? Destiny. Driving the house car for the IROC Southwest, that 7M is Zach Madrid. First lap for Madrid going to be a 21.464. That's quickest so far. 21.464 for Zach Madrid. Of course, Madrid, he races anything, anywhere. Stock car, bomber, modified, sport mod, sprint cars. It does not matter. Zach Madrid, he is a racer's racer, that's for sure. Second lap for him going to be a 21.610. So the first lap, the quickest lap, 21.464. 21.464 for Zach Madrid. As 82P of J.C. Parmley comes on the racetrack. So J.C. Parley saw victory in here at Arizona Speedway last year in our first race back from the COVID break. First lap for Parley going to be 22.243. 22.24. And that's third quickest out of the drivers that have transponders on them. Of course, we had five qualifiers so far. Two of them did not have a working transponder. And we'll just have them draw numbers in the back for those ones that don't have transponders to make it fair. Second lap for probably going to be a 21.795. 21.795. So still good enough for third quick for the 82P of Parmalee. As our sixth qualifier takes to the racetrack. In the 82 that's Trevor Hidalgo. Don't know much about Hidalgo. First time seeing here, it was on the speed in the 82 team. See how fast he is here. Lap number one, winning a 22.099 to 2.099 for Trevor Hidalgo as he brings the car off a turn at number two. Driver's kind of racing into the sun right now, going to turn number three. Of 
course, that will change as the day progresses. Final lap for Hidalgo going to be a 21.941 to 1.941 for Hidalgo. So Andrew Wood now comes out in the 15M. Of course, that's Zach Madrid's father. Semi-retired race car, of course. Spent plenty of time in victory lane all over the state of Arizona and across the country. Kind of took a back seat and let his son drive. 21.637 for Anthony Madrid, that first lap for him. Well, he showed up sporadically throughout the seasons here the last couple of years. Drawing a couple of stock car races, sport mods, and modifieds. I think he was on a late model at one point last year, a couple of years ago. Second lap for Anthony Madrid. Going to be a 21.336. That's your quick time so far. 21.336 for the 15M of Anthony Madrid. As Hunter Cavanaugh takes to the racetrack. No transponder on that car. So getting no transponder on the 133 of Hunter Cavanaugh. <laughs> holds that thing high, wide, and handsome off of turn number four. I'm going to smack the wall. <laughs> oh, that's fast. <laughs> looks good. <laughs> of course, all you golfers used to hearing that. So no transponder as well on the 55. That is Joey McCullough. Saw this car in victory lane a few times last year without Joey McCullough driving it, so that's kind of sad. See, so he went over the keys a couple times last year. Track. He does have a working transponder on his number 80 machine. First lap for Corey Parent going to be a 22.014, 22.014 6.07. First time out of the box looking pretty good there for Corey Parent. As Gary Ray takes to the racetrack now, this is Arizona Property Sellers Gunslinger Metalworks Hard Knock Rocks and Excavating. Number 62. Little tied off of turn number 2. This is the 62 of Gary Ray. Turn three and four, first lap, going to be a 21.634, 21.634. Of course, everybody chasing the Anthony Madrid's lap. A 21.336, 21.336. Josh Workmeister comes to the racetrack. Actually, that's Dylan Murdy. Not Josh Workmeister, the 21J. <laughs> for this race, second lap for Gary Ray, going to be a 21.148. That's quick time for the 62 of Gary Ray. 21.148, quick time for Gary Ray as David Mur Murdy out on the racetrack. Now his first lap of 22.491, 22.491 Murdy. This car driven by Josh Workmeister last year had a lot of great runs, especially out here in the 
40 lap stock car race. Second half of rating will be a 22.117. Just one of those seasons for Wharton last year where just couldn't quite put a full race together. So we'll see what happens with Neil and Murdy later on this afternoon as Dennis Losing takes to the racetrack. Driving out Apache Junction, Arizona. Losing racing number 15. First lap, 22.257, 22 22.257. Second lap, going to pick it up. 21.988 for 15 of Dennis Losing. Looks like we got three qualifiers left. Looks like last year's track champion, DJ Workmeister, going to be the first one out in the 08. There's DJ in that roof. Works.us. Rips Napa. 08. New wrap on the car here for 2021. And winning last year's championship. Something does not sound healthy on that car. Must not been wearing a mask during the off season. <laughs> yeah, so first lap for DJ Workmaster, oh, 21.081. That's quick time. So much for not being healthy. But they say they always run the best right before they blow. Knock on wood. Second lap for DJ Workmeister after that blistering lap. Going to be a 21.093, so 21.081. That's your quick time. The 08 of DJ Workmeister, 2020 track champion here at Arizona Speedway. As Chaz Baca now comes to the racetrack on the 61M. side of the Enduro last year. First lap for him. Coming at 21.297, 21.297, so still trying to chase the number, the 21.093, set by DJ Workmeister. We'll see what Chaz has in store here on lap number two. Second lap, going to be the money lap, 21.051. That's new quick time for the 61M of Chaz Baca Jr., 21.051, so track doesn't pick up some speed. And here comes the Iowa runner, Chance Hollitz. Another one of those drivers keep an eye on here. Out of Clear Lake, Iowa. It's actually having some issues getting through turns three and four. So it appeared, we'll see what that looks like on the scoring chart. 21.658, so 21.658. For the six of Chance Hollis. We'll see if he picks it up here on lap number two. Right now, Ray chasing down the time. Set by Chaz Baca, the last car out in 21.051. Hollis mm -hmm. getting back on the loud pedal, coming off a turn on number four. Checker flag will be a 21.283. 21.283. Oh, hang on to it. 70D. Yeah, it's Ray Doyle out there in the 70 B getting loosey goosey off of turn number four, coming with the green flag. I think he's going to be our final qualifier, it looks like. He just wants to put a lap together here after having that issue off of turn number four that last time. Uh, first lap, 24 seconds for Ray Doyle, so. We'll be one and done, and that's going to end it, but it is Chaz Baca Jr. in the 61M, 21.051, 21.051. So
set a quick time here this afternoon for your IMCA Stock Cars. As Jillian now is going to talk to some of the scores down there for the Bombers.